this is La La Madness News, and I'm out here with Joe from GQ's Barbecue. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yes, um, and we are actually at the Ruthless Addicts Cares Lunch with Stevie Bags event um, that we're holding here in Austell. But this is actually our food sponsor who actually has sponsored us a few times for a couple of the events that we've had here involving the Ruthless um, event. So why don't you tell them, you know, a little bit about you, where they can find you guys at? Well, we're located at 2572 Gresham Road, Southeast, uh, exit 63 off I-20 in uh, Atlanta, South, uh, East Atlanta, in East Atlanta. The caterer is great. Exactly. Right. Okay. And what do you guys, um, I know it's barbecue. It's barbecue. A lot of people claim to have good barbecue. Um, we right. are. We are one of the best barbecues in Georgia. And, and actually, I have come to find that out because I'm a foodie. Everybody knows mm -hmm. I'm a foodie. And I actually came there for the Robert Chanel birthday, birthday party. party. Yeah, correct. And Speedo was there, but he had me try these wings and baby. Yeah, the wings. Are, we have whole wings, not wing portions. N not the wingettes? No, not the wingettes, a whole wing. I call them premature wings. Right, right. We're not I cutting the wing in half and trying to <laughs> we're doing that. We're doing a whole wing. And try to call it a 10 piece? No, we're not doing that. The five whole, portions? A whole chicken wing. The whole, yes, the whole chicken wing. If you want a whole chicken wing, come to Gresham Road. But y'all got like the half, the quarter chicken. Yeah, we have half chickens. I give a, a whole chicken as well. So we call that the great eight. And half uh -huh. chicken, chicken dinner, chicken salad, chicken sandwich. What set sides. you guys apart from the other, you know, just barbecue places? Well, uh, a lot of it has to do with customer service, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, timing. Uh, Portions. We're not shaking a spoon. You know, you will get a substantial amount of food. You gonna get fed for a decent price. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. haven't went up on the prices too much, like a lot of the places around. Uh, it's, it's, it's important that we keep our customers. We have a substantial amount of people that have supported us in different locations, and I want to make sure that they continue to support us. Now, different locations, tell me about, so you guys have multiple locations? I know, we just have one location now on Gresham Road, but we used to be on University Avenue. Okay, right. is that where you got, which one was first? That was, was first, first, University Avenue okay. was first, in Pittsburgh, shout out to Pittsburgh, love Pittsburgh, love the people of Pittsburgh. And we'll probably come back over in the city at some point, um, but for right now, we're concentrating on the Gresham Road location. Okay, okay, so what have you, and how long have you? Three years. Three years. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I know Speedo has a, a little bit to do with some stuff over there. What does yeah, he? Yeah, he's, he's been, you know, maintenance and that type of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, so do you guys have anything that you specialize in that you guys, whether that's a sauce or... We have uh, five know. or six different sauces. Okay. Uh, we have a jerk sauce. We have Ruby's Hot and Sweet, which is my name after my grandmother. We have Gresham Blend, which is a, a family sauce. Um, Gresham Road is where we locate, but Gresham is actually my family name as well. Okay, wait a minute. Right. So y'all just so happen to be just, on just so happen just so to happen. be on Gresham Road, but my family name is Gresham. So just so happens so happen to happen. be. So I, I was born Joe Gresham. So. And and Joe Gresham ended up yeah. on Gresham Road yeah. with some good barbecue. Yeah, just so happened. Just so happened. Yeah, just so happened. What led you into the barbecue realm, or is that something you've always it's done? It's something that I've always, not only barbecuing, but entertaining. Mm. I always I always had, you know, the the house that had the car playing. Your house was the cookout house. It's always been the cookout house ever since I was a little kid. So I'm just doing what I normally have done for, you know, years. It's quite natural. I was going to say, if you, if you already had, you know, the kick in it house, you incorporate that with some food. Incorporate that with some food. You just move it into a restaurant. Move it into the restaurant and everybody just come hang out, come eat at Joe's. Yeah, come eat at Joe's, right? right? right. What do you guys anticipate on, because I know you've had several events there, mm -hmm. um, but what is your vision for GQ's in the maybe event arena or expansion-wise? We want to continue to just offer that place where you can have your birthday party, your bachelor party, your, your baby shower, your graduation party. Uh, and, and as a matter of fact, there was a repast for a funeral before. Uh, I had a... Bat, uh, a 
baby shower for a guy. He called it Hennessy and Huggies. I had never had. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I never had a, a male baby shower before. But his partners came. They came and smoked cigars. They brought bottles of Hennessy and boxes of, of uh, Pampers. So you know that made him a king. Cause he gonna need them. Yeah, yeah, made him a king at the house. He said, hey, baby, look what I got. Look what I got, right? He got bottles too. He can put it in his, in his closet. So, I know you guys get probably some rather large orders, right? Not just like what we have here, but like what, if you can recall, is one of your biggest or largest orders? Uh, well, I think we had to cook. <laughs> I think I had to cook for. Uh, I had to cook for maybe like 250 people. It was a. Uh, it was a uh, different shifts. Uh, oh, warehouse yeah. down in uh, in College Park. So, That's a lot of folks. Yeah, you know, uh, it's yeah. like uh, maybe 300, 250, 300. I think it's like 100 people each shift. We had to yeah. cook the food, then bring it to one shift, go back, cook more, bring it to the second shift, go back. You know, so that's probably the biggest one. A whole day. And that's a recurring thing. So. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, that's so, do you have a lot of repeat business? Do you find most of your customers are repeat? I just got a call for 50 of uh, those wings you were talking about. The um, the wings, <laughs> ladies like and gentlemen, ago. they have ribs, they, they have ribs. They three o'clock today. So. They are chicken, but yes. those wings. That's a lot of pressure on, you know, two hour turnaround, but we'll have it ready for them. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, because that's what GQ does, we right? Do. We, we, we get them done yes. and make sure that people enjoy the wings and everything else that they have. What is your, what's the, the most ordered side that you guys have? Besides those good games and I've had Macaroni, I sell out yeah. every yeah. day. The baked beans, uh, all the right. We have vegetarian baked beans, no meat in my greens, no meat in my uh, green beans. Uh, oh, so that set you apart too because a lot of people don't eat or they have certain dietary restrictions. Correct. Right? Correct. So you've learned to kind of figure that part out and Correct. not, not Correct. have a whole pan of something you can't sell because Correct. people don't eat it. I don't like leftover, so I make sure that we don't have any. Well, that's, I mean, as many orders as y'all get, you probably don't have many. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, I know you, like, like you're giving back in this event here, right, mm -hmm. as far as for the Ruthless Addicts Cares event. But mm -hmm. um, do you do any of those? What is your... You're, I'm not going to say sponsorship because I don't want everybody calling you up talking about sponsors. I sponsor everything. But what do you <laughs> what, I'm always sponsoring something. What have you guys yeah, participated we, we in got, we, got a foot, we got a football summit coming up over at, uh, uh -huh. in, uh, in Decatur, La Latonia, you know, um, golf tournaments, golf uh, stuff I sponsor all the time. Uh, feed the homeless, we sponsor. You know, you know, if I get a call, I usually ask. Oh, yeah. man, he's no, as long as it's uh, reasonable, as long as it's, it's a reasonable as request, as right? Reasonable. Don't take him out of here, ladies and yeah, gentlemen. As long as it's reasonable, you, we either provide time, food, or money, or time. Oh. And that's what is lacking a lot of in, in a lot of the business, uh, the business realm or the business aspects of life. Sometimes we get to the top or get where we're going, and we forget about the give back. Oh. process of things, you know, which keeps things it's, going. It's for the supposed next to be part of. It. Right, right. They can't re so, I can't really separate the two. That's right. But people get there and they forget. You know, you're successful. You got the restaurant going. You're getting your repeat orders. And sometimes in the whim, some people could get lost. In their spirit, they don't forget. Yeah. You know what? On the outside, they might. And their spirit should tell them to do what you don't want. Correct. <laughs> that's right. Correct. Any shout outs you want to give to anybody? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> and he not Talking leaving all nobody out. <laughs> Y'all make sure y'all stop by GQ's Barbecue on Gresham Road. Yeah. Um, exit you know, 20. Gresham then I mean, planted down I on Gresham exit, Road. Exit 63 on I-20. So. Exit 63 on I-20. Make sure you guys tap in. Follow them at GQ's Barbecue. barbecue. GQS, Spelled out, right? Yeah, G-Q-S-B-A-R-B-Q-U-E. That's right. So um, any last, either whether it's motivation or anything you want to let the people know. Oh, come to our uh, AF. See NFC football tomorrow at uh, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Get back in the lounge, what we call the barbecue experience in the back. We have them back after halftime. <laughs> exactly. Tell them. <laughs> Let them know. Tell them we're going to, you know what I'm saying, y'all step back in. Right. Um, but when, like, what is it outside of barbecue that you've done as far as professionally? Uh, I actually was a stockbroker for 10 years. Ain't that juicy, y'all? Right. See? That's, yeah, I was a stockbroker for actually 12 years. I was a stockbroker for 12 years. Uh, I'm the first black 
uh, CEO of a publicly traded company in the history of the state of Florida. It hasn't been one before. It was not has not been one since. So that was back in 2000. So I, oh, when people was just now thinking about it, you was already there. Don't you think? Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. I I took my company public uh, 20 some odd years ago. We traded on uh, the over the counter for about seven years. I reverse merged out of it mm. and um, took started some other companies. With that. So you took your business mind to make more business to then have do the fun stuff in the kitchen with the barbecue. Yeah, I mean, the barbecue is something that's always been with me. That's just, it's quite natural. I've always been like, you know, barbecue place, entertainment, that type of stuff. That barbecue so, man, right. right. So, um, but the business acumen, so to speak, I say that tongue in cheek, there's always a better business person you know, right around the corner. But I, I did take my, take my business public. The only black guy that ever did. In Florida. I don't know about Georgia's part Hmm. But you basically took your, your business mind from the, the stock brokerage and all the other business aspects and that helped you incorporate it into your barbecue yeah. business pretty yeah. much. Corporate finance is what I actually do. Uh-huh. The barbecue is something that I love to do. Well, excellent. Well, it was good talking to you, Joe, over there at GQ's Barbecue, so make sure that you guys tap in with them. Also, follow them online as well at GQS Barbecue, spelled out. Um, and, and on Facebook. And on Facebook. And also, make sure you stop by there um, on Gresham Road yeah. and check them out. 2572 Gresham Road, Southeast. All right. And this is La La Madness News. And we're out here at the Roofless Addicts Cares um, event with Lunch with Stevie Bags. And this is our barbecue sponsor over from GQ's Barbecue. And thank you guys for watching. Wow. Thanks a lot. Yeah.